Hello, welcome to London Transport Museum. Have you ever travelled around London during rush hour? If you have, you will know what a busy city we live in. Just a heads up to the teacher, when I ask a question, it can be a good point to pause the video so the class have time to discuss. Can you think of any problems of having so many vehicles on the road in London? Air pollution is one of them. Air pollution is not good for our health or for the environment. Air pollution is caused by diesel, a fossil fuel which we use to power the engines of our buses and cars. So diesel is also not a sustainable resource. When we talk about helping the environment, we use the word sustainability a lot. Have you heard it before? Do you know what it means? When we talk about a sustainable resource, we mean something that you can use but maintain at a certain level without running out. So, for example, with diesel, if we keep using it at the rate that we are, it will run out. Therefore, it's not sustainable. Can you think of an example of a resource that is sustainable? Oh, I know how we can find out. Let's travel back in time. OK, are you ready? Here we go. Let's strap ourselves in. And the other one. Let's put our hands on our steering wheel all together. Hold on tight. Let's count to three and then we're going to drive backwards in time. Here we go. One, two, three, go! Here we are. We've arrived at an electric tram that was invented in 1910. That's 111 years ago. Have you guessed it yet? What TfL are using to power their new bus fleet? It's electricity. <laughs> Have you ever been on a tram before? Tramways were laid all over London in the early 1900s, but they phased them out by 1952, as they said that they weren't flexible enough because the journeys could only run on electric tramways and overhead current collection. However, this is not the case with our electric buses. And in fact, you may have ridden on one already. There are over 400 in the city and more are coming in every year. So electric buses are run by an electric motor and instead of a fuel tank for diesel, there's a large battery which stores the electricity. <laughs> a large battery which stores the electricity which powers the engine. So at the end of the day, when the bus goes back to the depot, it just recharges a bit like a mobile phone or a laptop. So this just goes to show that sometimes progress doesn't always happen in a straight line. Sometimes we need to look over our shoulder and learn from the past. In fact, as you guys are engineers of the future, I'd love you to think about your own bus of the future. Could you create a bus that was completely sustainable and also had zero emissions? Good luck. Thank you.